It was his eye. Yes, it was this. One of his eyes resembled that of a vulture. A pale blue eye with a film over it. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold. And so, by degrees, very gradually, I made up my mind to take the life of the old man, and thus rid myself of the eye forever. Thanks for joining, everybody. Uh, today, really excited about a Sun Top Edition book, okay? Edgar Allan Poe. You can probably see it from there. This thing is massive. I mean, it is an absolute monster. This is not exaggerating when I say this is the thickest book I own, uh, by far, by far. Uh, yeah, so Sun Top Editions, um, it was published just earlier this year. Uh, I, I remember getting the email and I knew, I was like, as soon as I saw it come through, I was gonna, I had to jump on it and I, I ordered it, ordered it. This is the artist edition. Um, it's got this cool, um, the cool artwork on the dust jacket. I think the artist edition was the only one that got that. Um, so yeah, I'm, this book is awesome. So uh, I mean, if any of you haven't heard of Sun Tub Editions or haven't checked them out, please do. Uh, they are absolutely in my top top tier list of publishers that I enjoy. Um, that I enjoy having their books. Uh, Sun Tub Editions is just absolutely incredible and. You know, I think that uh, just a testament to that. Look at look at this thing. Look at how flat this massive monster of a book lays, uh, just right off the right off the bat. I mean, I haven't even read through this thing, uh, and it's already that it's broken in, right? I mean, it's this thing, it has 1,200 pages, 1,200 pages in it. Um, you know, this 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 thing's got it all, and I love this. Uh, love the inside dust jacket. Um, little blurb here um, it says torture chambers premature burials spectral birds crumbling castles men gone mad with revenge women who return from the grave these are the deranged fantasies and dark superstition spun into masterpieces of terror by Edgar Allan Poe I mean that's it, just cool right doesn't that just make you want to read it makes me want to pour a, a glass of red wine and sit by a fire and read um, but yeah, I mean, Edgar Allan Poe doesn't need an introduction, right? Uh, I mean, he's he's just one of the masters, one of the all-time masters. I love the way um, the, the cover of this thing looks. I love this, like, signature on the front. It's just so clean, so classy and elegant. Um, yeah, there's some really cool art going on on the, uh, the inside covers. Um, so on the, I think it's the same on the front and back cover. No, actually, it's not. It's different. The back is kind of creepier. It's got like a skeleton lady. Uh, I mean, this stuff's just awesome. Just the contents. I mean, I'll do I'll do some close-ups here in a second, uh, so you can see. But um, uh, just some contents: poetry, tales and sketches, plate articles. You know, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym. It's got illustrations, essays. Like I don't know. As thick as this thing is, I would imagine it has every work. You know, every scrap of paper that Edgar Allan Poe wrote, a little post-it note and left it laying around, uh, it's probably in here. Um, just, just throwing that out there. Okay, so here we go. I mean, you can see how thick this is. It's like as thick as my hand. It's absolutely massive. Uh, the slipcase is sweet. It's cloth covered. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's pretty plain, but it's got, um, you know, nice and hard. Um, definitely protects the book and yeah, I think it looks really clean. I think it looks great on the shelf. Uh, here's the book. Got the dust jacket on. I think it's just a monster. Really cool art. Let's see here. Open this up so you can see the inside of the dust jacket. Artist edition. There he is. There's our boy. Okay, and let's see here. Yeah, so this book's absolutely massive. Oh, sorry, sorry, Mr. Raven. Uh, cool art. It's really cool. It's creepy. It's a graveyard. It's it's spooky. It's all those good things. All those good things. You got some top editions. Okay, 2022. But see, I didn't get this till 2023, so maybe. But it was fast. It was like as soon as the announcement was made, 
you know, I ordered it and then received it pretty quickly thereafter. So I have a feeling, you know, this was printed and everything was packaged and done in 2022. And then, you know, it wasn't announced um, and released for order until it was all ready in 2023. And that's when we got it. So um, there you go. If anyone's curious, here's the contents. Look at that, 1,268. Just crazy. Here we go. I'm not going to flip through the whole thing. Um, here's one classic, the Telltale Heart. Very cool. Interesting artwork going on there. So I'm just going to show a couple pictures. A few of the illustrations. Very cool. Just past one. Okay, this is a really cool section. It's like a ton of illustrations by Gustave Doré. Uh, and they're really awesome. Really fun to, fun to look at. A very evocative of, of the genre, the mood, the ambiance. Sets the tone for these stories. Very creepy stuff. These are really cool though. It's all black and white. I haven't, I haven't seen any color. Although there's plenty of cover, uh, color on that cover. Essays, okay. There you go. So I believe the artist edition was limited to maybe 700, yeah, here we go, 750 copies. Um, and it's signed by these fellows. Very cool. Kelly Hensing and Fran Smith. I think Fran Smith did the, the art on the cover there. Uh, not sure what Kelly Hensing did. And there you go. Very creepy. Okay, so prior to getting the Sun Top Edition, uh, this Folio Society, I think this is 1999, so when this was printed, um, Tales of Mystery and Imagination. This was, this was my Poe book. I got it secondhand, kind of already had some scuffs on it, but overall really good shape. Um, you know, and it's cool. It's got some, it's got some cool, uh, got some cool art as well. Um, but wanted to show this to you uh, next to the sun tub. So let's see, we'll start at this angle, okay, because Kind of similar. You see, they're they're kind of kind of similar as far as the height and width goes. Um, folio book is a little wider, about about the same height. Folio book's a little bit taller, okay, but pretty comparable. Um, and then you look at them on their sides, and it's like, good lord! I mean, this is not even close. It's like this sun top is like, I. I don't even know, not twice as big, but man, maybe, you know, 40% uh, bigger or something like that. Uh, I mean, it's pretty big, pretty hefty tome. And you know what? If anyone deserves such a treatment as this, uh, it's Mr. Edgar A. Poe. So there you go. Sun Tup Editions, Tales, uh, Poetry and Tales of Edgar Allan Poe. Um, Check it out. I mean, some, definitely check out some tough editions if you haven't already. Uh, and I think this is a great, great edition. Um, if you're a fan of Poe, if you're a fan of horror, um, American literature, um, you know, any of those things. There's a lot of sort of genres and, and categories that you're interested to fall under, you know, and, and Poe is like a must read. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for joining and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Tales, poetry and tales. Allen Poe, Sun Tub Editions. Ah, yes, the macabre, the horror. Ah! So heavy. Yeah, let's look at it. Look at it open. Listen to the heft. Listen to that. Let's do it close. It's a thud. That is a solid thud, too. It's 
It's not messing around. God help us. The knocking on the walls won't stop. 